All right, so lesson 110 is on symmetry. So here I have a rectangle, and it wants to know how many lines of symmetry my rectangle has. I'm going to go ahead and redraw the rectangle. Okay, And it wants to find the lines of symmetry. So that means that the lines I draw, it's going to look the same on the left side and the right side, or the top and the bottom, or on the angle. It'll look exactly the same on both sides. Okay, So for example, my first line of symmetry is going to be right down the middle. It, so my shape looks the same on the left and the right. Okay. Then there's another line of symmetry, and that one goes this way, because it looks the same from the top and the bottom. So a rectangle has two lines of symmetry. Okay. Now a square actually has more lines of symmetry. So if I draw a square, okay, as best as I can draw it, this square is actually going to have more lines of symmetry than a rectangle. It will have the same up and down, vertical and horizontal, but I also have a diagonal line of symmetry, okay? Because it looks the same from one side to the other if I flipped it over. So I end up actually having four lines of symmetry with this with a square. Alright, so I have these three triangles, and it wants to know which one does not appear to be symmetrical. So I'm going to just try to draw some lines of symmetry and see how many I can find. So on A, I have at least one there, so it's not that one. On B, I have at least one line here, okay, because those two, oops, those two sides are the same length, so I've got one line there. And on C, this length here is different from this length here. So I will not be able to draw any line to make it look like the same on either side. So C is my triangle that is not symmetrical. So on this one we have rotational symmetry. So if you remember that's when I rotate an object and it looks the same somewhere in that rotation other than 360 degrees. Because if I turn it all the way around of course it looks the same. So I'm going to look at which one, which of these have rotational symmetry. And you would normally do this by rotating your book, so you can see if it looks the same from different angles. In this case, only A and B have rotational symmetry. Because on C, none of these two sides are not the same length. So I cannot have rotational symmetry. And it's the same with this triangle. Uh, the sides are not the same length. And it's at a weird angle, so I can't get it to be the same. Okay. These ones only look the same after a complete turn. Okay. And that's all. Good luck on your homework.